Hi guys, it's Danny from Headway Free Made Easy, and today we're going to look at um, a comparison actually between Headway, Genesis, and Thesis. Um, there's been a lot of talk about premium themes and which one's the best and which one offers the most, you know, flexibility, etc. And to be honest, they all have their strengths and weaknesses, and they all offer something different to each other. But I thought it'd be fun to look at the three main ones that are kindy at the fore of WordPress at the moment, uh, which is the Headway theme I use, the Thesis one, which is hugely popular and has been for a while, and Genesis, which is starting to get a bit of steam um, now that some, some bloggers are switching from Thesis to Genesis or considering looking at Genesis. So I thought it'd be fun to have a, a little experiment and just um, look at how they actually compare with each other, you know, out of the box. Um, I'm looking at this from a completely non-coder angle, uh, mainly because all three themes, you know, sell the features of the, the theme as being perfect for novices and coders alike. Now, I'm not a coder, right? it's one of the reasons I moved to Headway, so I just really wanted to look at and see how easy it would be for a non-coder to replicate their blog using different um, frameworks. So if you look at my blog at the moment, this is my standard blog, um, and this uses no custom CSS whatsoever. It's just, you know, it's all out the, block, out of the box of Headway. So what I want to do first is I want to look at see how easy it is to, to recreate this on Genesis if I wanted to move to Genesis. Um, there's a few bloggers moved over to Genesis. I want to see, you know, if it would be something that would be worthwhile for me. So this is the standard layout for Genesis when you first install it. You've got the, the blog title, the nav bar, the sidebar area and the content area. So as you can see, it's like most other blog frameworks, it's a, a basic setup once you install it first of all. So if I want to create this, obviously I need to start uploading header, colour the sidebars in, change the fonts etc. So let's just go have a look at the, the theme settings. So when you're in the dashboard of Genesis, this is what you see and it's, there's quite a lot of options there. So it looks like I could have a pretty good chance at recreating stuff. So let's just go through the theme settings and for these videos I'm just going to make a standard theme um, blog if you like. Uh, one content area, one sidebar uh, and then you know the widgets etc that I've got already prepared. And to make the videos quicker I've already got the colour codes that I need to use from my blog and all the widgets that I need in the sidebar are saved in the inactive widgets of each individual theme. So let's go back to the Genesis theme settings and let me see okay so what do I want to use, do I want to use a blog title or logo? Well I want to use a logo um, so let's go to image logo um, but there's nowhere for me to actually upload an image logo so if I save the logo and just change that and refresh um, it brings up the Genesis one uh, now I could go in and you know edit my uh, Photoshop settings that comes with the Genesis theme and upload them and that would allow me to have my header here um, but this is all from out the box without any addition, you know, additional extras outside. So at the moment I've got no options to upload the, theme, the the logo header unless I, you know, mess about with the the package that came with the the download from the the Genesis site. Um, so okay, fair enough. I can't I can't change that. Um, do I want to include primary nav menu? Yes, I do. Um, what kind of setup do I want? Well, like I said, I've got content sidebar. Genesis gives you the choice of sidebar content, content sidebar sidebar, sidebar sidebar content, and sidebar content sidebar. So you can swap in and have either one sidebar or two sidebars, choose between the left, the centre, or the right, or no sidebar whatsoever. So that seems pretty standard through all, th um, all three themes that we're looking at. But I want to stick with the content and the sidebar. Um, so okay, so do I want need any of this stuff? Um, no, I don't need a, a custom nav menu because I'm just looking at a, a straightforward nav menu there. As you can see, there's there's some drop downs there, but I'm not going to bother with that uh, today. I just want to recreate the actual look and feel of my site. Um, so okay, so do I want to enable any extras on the right hand side? Um, I could go with a search form because as you see, I've got a search form in there. So let's put the the search form in the the nav bar. Um, I don't want to include secondary navigation. Do I want to display home link? Uh, yes, I do because obviously I, I need that on the the page. Um, enable comments. So I'm looking for um, the option to change my font and to change my sidebar um, settings, and I can't see any there. There's there's none there. Uh, I can enter a custom feed URL. I can have a, an offer box on posts. I can have breadcrumbs. All pretty standard, you know, features, which is cool. But that's not what I'm after. I'm after this kind of font here. I'm after 
uh, red links. I'm after changing the, the nav menu colors, etc., and obviously changing the, the sidebar to, to make it stand out a bit. And unfortunately, uh, none of that's there. And the only other settings is your search engine optimization settings, which you know I'm not looking to do at the moment. I just want to change all, all these things. Um, so let's save settings and see what it looks like. Um, today's day. I want to enable, sorry, I never saved that there. So let's put the, the search form in there and save settings. So let's have a look again. So there you go, you've got the searches website in there, the nav bar, so that's cool. So let's just put the widgets in them. Um, and as I said before, I've saved the sidebar widgets, which has got the primary and the secondary. I've saved the sidebar widgets here so I can put them in fairly quickly. The cool thing with um, Genesis is it's got a little feature called e news and updates. So it actually gives you a subscription box. You know, to put in your sidebar from the start, which is pretty cool. Uh, normally, you have to say set a service up with feed burner, drop the code into a little text box, and put that in instead. But not with Genesis, so that's a quite cool little feature. Um, put in searches blog, drag over, connect. So as you can see, I'm just building the uh, the sidebar up to replicate what I've got on my DannyBrown.me sidebar. Um, put in the archives and put in the copyright. Okay, so there we go. So let's have a look and just hit the refresh button. So as you can see, um, I've now got my subscribe options here with the email drop, uh, email subscribe. I've got the search, I've got the connect, I've got what the blog's powered by, what others are saying, archives and copyright. So as far as widgets go, that's replicating the sidebar. The problem is, um, Genesis doesn't give you the option to change the, the width of the sidebar or the width of the content box from out of the box. Neither does it give you the option to separate that with a different colour. So because of that, um, everything's, you know, it's not really, you know, well laid out from a separation point of view. My search bar goes um, outside uh, the, the sidebar because it's, you know, set a different width from what it should be. My connect um, social media icons, they get squished as opposed to being like this. Um, so that's as far as I can take Genesis from out the box to replicate my site. There's no options to get little um, teasers down at the bottom here, which is these little boxes down here. Um, See, so the little teaser boxes here. Um, so, and I can't change the font size. The, the font's a fairly smallish font. I can't change the, the link size, so it's going to be the standard blue link. Uh, now obviously you can do all this with um, some extra coding, but that's not what I'm looking at today as I mentioned at the start of the video. All three videos are going to be looked at replicating my site with no coding whatsoever. Um, so this is the, the Genesis look. Um, so as an out of the box for a novice to use, yep you can get a blog up and running but it's pretty basic, pretty standard and every blog would look the same unfortunately. Um, so that's the Genesis Prime 1. Next up will be Thesis, so I'll see you in the next video.